I'm having fun. I'm having fun. He just has a sixth sense for flavor. He sees things that no one else can. Everyone was just blown away, like, wow, who is this guy? When I was a child, I remember my friends would shout at my house, come out, come out and play, Gorge. But they did not understand. Why would I? Why would I want to go outside when everything I want is in here? The first time I went to Gorge was an accident. I was visiting a friend who lived in the same building, but I buzzed the wrong number and he just let me in. He sat me down and without saying a word, he put a plate in front of me. It was a slice of ham with a single line of Tabasco down the middle. My food is simple because I live simply. I don't wear big clothes or watch expensive movies. For me, it doesn't matter if food is pretty or fancy or safe to eat. What matters most is taste. And for me, there are only three tastes. Salty, sweet, and bread. No one knows where he came from. I remember I asked him once, Gorge, where are you actually from? And he just, he put his finger up to his lip and he just just shook his head and uh, I'll always remember that when I was young I was always experimenting learning I wasted nothing when I got to the end of a bag of crisps and all that was left was crumbs I would tip them into my mouth like it was a drink people were astonished they said you cannot do this this is not in the rules and I would spit this was what I thought of their rules. He's changed food. I mean, beans on bread? This is Gorge's world now. We just eat in it. I was making beans on toast one day, and I thought, I cannot be fucked to toast this bread. What if I just put the beans on the bread without toasting it? And the result? Salty, sweet, and bread. But Gorge never rests on his laurels. He's still inventing, still pushing the boundaries of what's possible. Two hot dogs and some hummus. Ketchup and mayonnaise mixed together. Carrot sticks in the shape of a horse. Ceviche lemon. Deconstructed tea. Iceberg iceberg lettuce. Ice cream Monday. It's incredible. Describe gorgeous food in one word. Home. He makes it in his home. But what would I say to those kids outside my house now? <laughs> Probably... Because... I'd be eating something. I'd be eating something. They look good, right? Yeah, I think these will do just fine. Hi again, James. I just wanted to say thank you so much again for all of your help the other night. Everything you said was so helpful and useful and interesting and just really cool. Well, denim is standard fit, so if you've got jeans already, just get the size of them and um, that's the size you should order. <laughs>
I don't have any jeans. Oh. I lost all of them. They sank to the bottom of the sea. Right. You were so confused. So what happened is, is my ex-husband and I had a party boat company. I know, I don't seem old enough to have been married, but yeah. So our company, Party, 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 I was the financial director of that company, which was not a good idea because I didn't know how to do it. And so as a direct result of that, I ended up stealing or embezzling a lot of money. To be honest, I still don't really understand what it is that I did, but we did get into a lot of trouble for it. And then crazily, right around the exact same time, the boat did completely sink and there were lots of people on it, but no one died. We got rescued, everybody was in the lifeboats. It wasn't even that cold, so. But I did get tried and convicted of reckless endangerment and negligence and embezzlement, etc. But I think because some of the crimes were white collar and because also I'm very small and friendly, I just got house arrest. So I'm doing that here at my parents' place right now and it's fine. But yeah, that's what I was talking about when I was uh, saying that all of my jeans were at the bottom of the sea because they, they did sink in the boat because we did live on the boat. So all of my clothes were there. Uh, do you think you're small, extra small, medium? What do you think? Um, I've got a really soft stomach, but really narrow hips. You're really cool, James. Yeah, you could just order all the different sizes and see what works. You were so right about that. And now I have the perfect size. Hmm. What more do you need to know about me? Here, come with me. Mum, do you like my jeans? Yeah, I guess so. Thanks. So, do you think, um, do you think my friend James did a good job helping me choose them? Yeah, sure. She likes you. Pretty cool, right? She's a really good judge of character. Okay, thanks, James. Have a good day, and maybe see you soon. Some people say we're jobless. I just say jobless Rastafari. Yeah. Welcome to the Conspiracy Spliff Sessions. Grab a pew, get up and boogie, or just find a space on the floor. Whatever you do, just get ready to soak up the vibes. You're listening to the sustainable beats of DJ Campsite, coming live and direct to you in lockdown. Yeah! <laughs> I like it! The two-tote pass law is in effect. Yeah! Shout out to Neil the paramedic. Loving your work, man. You're making this world a better place and you know it. Neil's not actually a paramedic. <laughs> he lives in a converted ambulance. Did the whole thing himself. And now he lives off the land. Yeah! In Woking. Shout out to my Woking crew. Clap for carers. Yeah, clap for the light change. Whoa! <laughs> witty witty rhythm. Yeah. We're out here.
here panic buying bog roll. Meanwhile, the government are trying to sell ketamine to Turkey. Wake up! You know, when this is all over, I think we should start our own political party. Maybe one that actually parties. <laughs> yeah. If you're buying mangoes in January, you're part of the problem, brother. Let's make this party airborne. Cultivate your minds. Cultivate your starters. Take the bread. Heal the head. Yeah, yeah. Let the dough rise. Double in size. This is exceptional. I remember the first time I ever DJed at a festival. Boy, I was working at a chip van, but they let me play my own music, so it was even better than DJing. Everyone was dancing outside my truck as if it was the main stage. <gasps> I cooked so many chips that year. <laughs> but you know what? It was the music that got me through. And I had a lot of speed with me. But that's when I realized I've got a superpower. And I believe that every single one of us out there on lockdown has a superpower too. Mine just happens to be beats, chips, and speed. Peace, love, and unity. Beats, chips, and speed. Can you shut the fuck up? Sorry. Is. Tom? Now push that over. So what are you... Oh no! Why did you do that? I just thought it would cut the ring out! What ring? <laughs> Will you marry me? No! Why? inside right now but that doesn't mean that I can't still go to my favorite places and do my favorite things. That's cuz I've got this. Check this out.
I wanted at all. That's not what he wanted at all. Stop, Lord.